Hey guys, and welcome to my patch notes review for the Trove Anniversary Edition. I just want to take a second to thank everybody that came out to Tron's livestream. When I came onto the screen, the chat literally exploded, and it made me feel very, very, very accomplished. Uh, so thank you guys very much. I It seemed like I was... You'll see the video tomorrow if you haven't seen it already. It seemed like I was awkward. Trust me, I was just reading the chat, and I was laughing at how like huge the explosion was when I came in or came on the screen so I, I wasn't awkward guys I know a lot of people were saying that I looked awkward that's just what I look like I guess <laughs> I felt good uh, it was very very exciting but getting into the actual patch notes so anniversary that's all it says is it's been about one year since we officially went live to thank you for your ongoing support we've set up a number of amazing bonuses for the next two weeks so the first thing is all classes are 66% off I can't really show that because, well, I owned every single class. Uh, gem packs are 25% off. Uh, so you can see this one, instead of being 50 bucks, it's 30, or was it 40 bucks? I don't remember. I think it was 50. Uh, it's now 37.49, and the one that was 100 is now 74.99. Uh, if you log in between July 12th and 25th, you will get a Trovian Tumblr mount created by Screamheart. So that auto consumes, it will not appear in your inventory. You have to press Y and you have to look for it. So you can either go to mounts, it'll be in promo, or you can just type in Trovian, uh, Tumblr, uh, Trovian Tumblr. Where is it? Yep, it's in promo. And that is the cool looking car mount. Looks pretty cool in my opinion because it's unique. Uh, Screamheart always goes for those unique builds, which, uh, you know, they look very, very awesome when they come into the game, because there's nothing that looks like it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you log in between July 12th and 25th, you will get a minor experience coin uses. Coin will grab you, grant you enough experience to take a class from level 1 to 10. Now, you do only get one. I did kind of misinterpret it when we first watched, uh, or on, on Friday, uh, when I made the video. Where, what, what am I looking for again? Oh yeah, the minor coin. <laughs> it's right here. So it's only one. You only get one this entire two-week uh, event. So I'm saving mine personally for the new class whenever that comes out because it's only 15k experience to go from level 1 to 10. So it's not really worth using unless you're level 1. So uh, if you don't already have all classes, you might want to use this. But someone like me that already has all classes to at least 26 and above, and if not 30, uh, I will be definitely saving that and not using it on my level 25s. Next up is... All daily bonuses are active every day. Sorry about that, like, I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, so here it is. All bonuses are live. This is my favorite part of this entire thing is this, honestly. Like, this is just, this is amazing. Because literally every single day, you're going to get 50% more boxes if you're a patron. And if you didn't know, if you're a patron, you have to you have the chance to roll us twice. So if you go to a three-star in a prime world, or a primordial world, instead of getting two boxes, you have the chance to get either two, three, or up to four boxes just for one boss. Like, if you just one-shot a boss as a shot hunter, you get four boxes. So I, this is what I'm most excited about. This is going to be an awesome week. Also, very good things are shards, uh, radiant shards, and shadow shards. Remember, I don't think they've... I don't remember reading anywhere, but this only applies to shadow shards, guys, not shadow caches. Could be wrong, but I would have to go back to and watch all my patch notes over the past month to see if that's true, because I know they were talking about it on their live stream, but I don't remember if they ever actually put it into the game. So, still amazing. If you need Flux from that Radiant Shards, they are amazing without the bonus. So, if you have two weeks of the bonus, they're just going to be even better. Um, and then, finally, obviously, if not everyone has every class level 30, the double experience being a patron is quite amazing for two weeks straight. Uh, I'm going to probably have every class to 30 by the end of this week, which you guys know I will be doing videos on those. So, definitely the biggest part of this entire event, in my opinion, are these. Uh, next up is a special login bonus every day with an additional bonus every other day for players with match rank 20 or higher. I don't know why they put that there because it explains it further down the list. Like, it doesn't give you any information. It's like, hey, we have a bonus that you get every other day. But it doesn't say what it is until you get way farther down. So let's keep going. So golden ticket loot boxes available through contests, login bonuses, and attached to some products. These chests rarely contain some amazing prizes. So I just want to put a disclaimer before we go over them. They were tradable the first, like, two hours or so, so they were definitely, like, they were, like, 30k each, I should have sold mine, but they're not tradable anymore, they fixed it when they came back up, they were not supposed to be tradable, um, so they are now fixed, they are not tradable anymore, but, uh, some of the amazingly rare prizes, I guess, are it's raining mounts, use this item to unlock a huge number of mounts, including all mounts in the following categories, adventure boxes, rare, store, extra life, crafted, fishing, shadow tower, treasure isles, corgi, cat, shmeep, 
Centaur, fancy, and wait, fancy and seasonal. Whoa, fancy. They're going to give away the fancy mounts? Uh, let me double check. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the fancy mounts. That is this. Okay. Well, I mean, rip my wallet. This costs a hundred bucks for this prime block. Now, <laughs> now you can get it for free. Obviously, that is, you know, the thing with these is they're ultra rare drops. These are rarer than Gonda. So, Probably like 10 people total are going to get these, to be honest. But you get all the fancy mounts, so you don't have to spend any money on the game. Uh, so yeah, that's actually kind of surprising, in my opinion, because Trout are usually about the money, 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 but they give you the entire thing for free. Well, I mean, that's good, right? <laughs> uh, and then Dragon Force, use this item to unlock six dragons, Panatea, Ludini, Aramatra, Selene, Yoren, and Errol. Basically, the past six dragons that released. And then finally, one year patron pass. Use this item to grant your account patron status for a whole year. Obviously, you only get one of these, and they're rarer than Gonda, so good luck getting them. I do not expect anywhere near 100 people to even receive these, to be honest. Unless it's like a 1% chance, which is not ultra rare because rares are 1%. So we'll see. If you guys get one, maybe like screenshot it and tweet at me or something, because that'd be pretty amazing. Uh, to be honest, I want to see how many people get them. Uh, next up is anniversary login bonus. Log in anytime during the anniversary party, July 12th through the 26th, to receive the trophy and tumbler mount. They've already talked about this, uh, so we can skip that. Uh, that's why I don't really get this patch notes. It's kind of all over the place. It looked like it was very, very rushed. Uh, next thing is each day during the anniversary party, log in to receive two golden tickets. Again, they've already said that. Uh, so let's scroll down. So the next thing is daily bonuses. So now they're going to finally talk about the daily bonuses. Uh, so July 12th, which is today, everyone gets, or if you're master rank 20 or above, this does not apply if you're master rank 19, 18, 17, all the way down to zero. Uh, so 20 and above, you get two days of patron pass for free. If you log in tomorrow, you have to log in though, remember that. If you log in tomorrow, you will get one streamer dream, no matter what. If you're master rank zero, you will get one streamer dream. Next day is two days of patron pass. Again, master rank 20 or above. If I'm not going to say that every single time. You can read the screen. Uh, next is five booster boxes, two days patron, 10 dragon coins, two days patron, empowered gem box, two days patron, omni style unlockers, 10 of them, two days patron, one life life, two days patron, and finally 10 golden ticket boxes on the last day of the event. Uh, next is weekly updates. The, Kaya, uh, the chaos chest has been updated. Grab drumsticks, the majestic and hungry flying griffin mount. Uh, finally is, or next up is misc updates and fixes. When looking at stats in the character sheet, you can now mouse over individual stats to see more of a breakdown on how the stat is calculated. So let's take a quick look at that. So physical damage is your base damage and then you get your bonuses. So 60%. It's not going to say the percentage next to the uh, number anymore. It's going to have it in the tooltip. Now, the thing is, I don't really get, like, why this <laughs> is the thing. Because literally all they did was take the percentage that was next to it, and they put it in the tooltip if you hover over it. So instead of making it more efficient, like press C, press stats, and you can see your percentages, now you actually have to hover over it. Um, and it doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say exactly how they calculate anything. It's like, uh, well, you have magic fine. Uh, so cl chance to increase your rarity is... 754 percent and then i have 100 percent multiplier because i have a patron it doesn't tell me exactly how it's calculating it for magic damage or let's see critical damage it doesn't say how it's calculating it critical hit doesn't say anything so i don't really get what they meant in these patch notes like it's just eh, i don't know that was kind of it was a misinterpretation in, in my opinion i feel like they were misleading in that text uh so all they did was take what was already visible and make it invisible unless you hover over it. So, I don't know. That's, I guess, your own opinion on that. Uh, so, in collections, Dragon Ascension badges now show how many mastery points are granted by the reward uh, items at each level. What is that? Dragon Ascension badges. So, little badges. So, you can now see how much mastery you'll get for each badge. Uh, next up is fix a collections UI bug where sometimes a green selection circle wouldn't update when changing mounts. Thank God. Uh, hopefully that applies to everything because that was very annoying for Flask most particularly uh, whenever you do ultras. Next up is reduce the block damage done by the Knight's Empowered Gem ability. Fix bug where the air currents remain in the world after moving a cornerstone that contains a side draft block. Uh, uninvisible the Obsidian Total Days badge. I don't know what that means because I was looking at it just the other day. What is the gameplay? The Obsidian Total Days Badge. What? How am I supposed to get this if I have over double the requirement? I don't understand. Uh, okay. Try on. Bug. 
100 mastery points right there. That's a whole level. <laughs> Hopefully, I have it and it's just bugged out because that's a full level, man. And 750 cubits, that's like a whole gem booster box. <laughs> so maybe that's bugged out and they'll fix it soon. Uh, dragons now leave proper footprints after landing. Missed one. Fixed dragon mounts, font, and back front and back feet. Back left feet, my bad, while in epic pose. Bulldozer has been optimized and should no longer tank frame rates while in use. Fixed bug where items that are collected while collections is open appear to be uncollected. Uh, fixed description of iCthulhu products in the store. Fix a bug where a heart of phone sometimes didn't have keyboard focus when it should. That They need to do that for uh, club invites as well. And finally, Stellar and Radiant Loot Drops now have their own special VFX to distinguish them from Shadow Drops. So if you're using the mod that I use, the one that I have made a video on, uh, the one from Mystic Lugia, it will no longer apply to Radiant and Stellar Drops because they are no longer under the coding of level 7. Or maybe they're level, I think they're level 7, not level 6. Uh, so... You can't see a spotlight anymore, so if you are using the mod and you're not looking out for that spotlight, make sure you look at the ground now, because it's not going to highlight if you found a Radiant or a Stellar. I don't know what the visual effect is. They could have copy and pasted it, to be honest, into the Radiant and Stellars, and it does have that whole beam effect. Or maybe they did something even cooler, like make it so when a Stellar falls on the ground and it like explodes or something. I don't know. I haven't found one yet. But make sure that you are checking. Just wanted to let you guys know. And finally, community content. New Frontier later from Miss Meowsifer. All right, so that is it for this patch notes. Honestly, like, they didn't really update the game. It's all about their one-year anniversary this week, uh, which, in my opinion, is fine. Like, I, I am happy, happy, happy about this whole daily bonus thing. Uh, and, yeah, once again, thank you to everyone that came out to the stream today uh, for my stream as well as Tryon's. It was a very, very, very big day. Uh, a lot, a lot of people came out, which I am super, super happy. And yeah, I will have that video coming up tomorrow of the entire, like, uh, 20 minutes or so that I was there. They kind of went over with my time, so I was there for a little bit longer than 20 minutes. And so make sure to uh, look out for that tomorrow. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys next time.